Hello people, welcome to quite a special video, the Mac Pro Adventures, episode number two, or episode number two, oh. well the answer is there was an episode one that I did a while ago and it was really not anything interesting so don't even bother, um, spoiler, basically the Mac Pro I had, the 2006 which is there, doesn't turn on um, I think it's the death motherboard, got like two power supplies, neither of them work, so yeah. So this is, oh god, this is a 5,1, a 2010 this is, a, not a um thing. But look, see it's got a single optical drive, don't worry, I can easily fix that. Um, it's got a stock um, ATRI radio on 5770. It's a stock one, um, and I believe it's got 8 gigs of RAM. Um, how do you, do you just pull this out? Oh, no? Oh, oh, okay, I see. I don't know how these things work. It's that. Oh, I don't like this. Scary. What are you supposed to? There, there. That's more like it. So, uh, is it all occupied? Yeah. So it's got eight one gig sticks, dual CPU. Um, don't know what exactly the CPUs are. Um, as you can see, also annoyance. Um, one of the drive sleds is missing. Also, that's number two, so technically that should be there, so I'm just going to fix that. There we go. Another complaint is um, on the listing it was talking about USB 3, so I assumed, oh yeah, there'll be a USB 3 um, card. No! So, um, yeah, slightly annoying. I'm not like too annoyed about it, but definitely annoying, let's say. Um, oh my god, that's really not nice. Um, let's try and get this in. Okay, you just push those in. Yeah, the heatsink is like quite squishy. So it's got a single optical drive. Not too problematic. Um, it should have a two terabyte hard drive. It's also really dusty, but you can't really see that. Um, and also, apparently, it has no OS, so that needs to be fixed. I'm going to um, move my Power Mac G5 there. I'll probably put it there for now. Temporary spot. I will put this at my main setup, which is a bit of a mess. I'll sort that out eventually. Um, yeah. So, I need to get an OS. I should be able to internet recovery it. Provided it's on newer firmware, because I don't believe it uh, came a bit immediately, but when you've got upgraded firmware, it does. Um, so there's that as well. Um, so, yeah, exciting little video. Um, I also will be installing some additional hard drives um, as well. Um, so there's that. Also, let's have a look at that hard drive. I've not actually had a look at this hard drive. So it's two terabytes, but what brand is it? Oh, okay. Ooh, problem, 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 problem. Unless there's a hard drive in the optical drive bay, um, I have been a bit lied to. Nope. Okay, that's a bit more problematic. Um, oh, it came with a one terabyte drive, not a two terabyte. Yeah, there's no drives there. Optical drive. There can't be anywhere else where it can be. Oh, managed to catch that. What's the manufacture date? 13th of Feb 2011. It's Apple branded, so I'm assuming this is the original drive, so... By that logic, yeah, this is the 2010 model and not the 2012. Um, not like it matters, they're basically the same thing. Apart from, yeah, the 2012 comes with 
you know, slightly better specs and stuff. Um, and different CPU, of course, you can put those CPU in here. Oh, okay. So that's more problematic because I have pretty much been lied to there um, about quite an important part of the specs. Maybe I could get like a partial refund on this um, I, because it was advertised incorrectly um, as two terabytes and the USB 3 thing, but I'm less worried about the USB 3. I think I'm more annoyed about the one terabyte drive that's in here. And next to my it's got a different label somehow. But um, yeah, that's quite an important thing to have a look at. And I should look at the specs in case maybe it originally was a two terabyte and the um, hard drive was just like stolen from it. It's like in great. Um, I think that says one terabyte there. So no, that's not the case. Um, yeah, I am actually kind of annoyed now so there's that what are the plans um exactly for this um as i said i'll put some hard drives in here i'll give it an ssd i've got an ssd laying around that's pretty much doing nothing so i might as well use that um this two terabyte hard drive won't actually be doing much for now but i'll probably keep in here for now um in the future um yeah so let's now finally get on to the turning on stage. Okay, so I've put an SSD in here as well. It's 480 gig crucial. Um, yeah. So I've got so I've got three storage devices plus two optical drives. So I've got um the stock one terabyte that should be a two terabyte because that was. A what was in the listing yes this one is originally had one terabyte but it was listed in the thing it should have two terabyte or at the very, well either an actual two terabyte drive or two one terabytes or i don't know a terabyte and then 500 500 whatever as long as it's two terabytes tall but no it isn't um but yeah so i've got the crucial and then i've got my mac os installer Below the optical drive so yeah i put the ssd in the um one that had the sled tray um missing because a hard drive wouldn't really be able to stand up a, like a four three and a half inch hard drive wouldn't be able to be supported so i might as well do that so yeah i've still not plugged it in but i'm about to don't worry I was also having some issues with my phone. Um, the camera app was basically dying. So, yeah. Okay, so. Let's try and turn this on. I'm going to hold down option. I think that's the optical drive making that noise. Shouldn't really be making that noise. Okay, chime. Um, blue screen is assigned to do with this cable, um, I believe, and not the actual GPU itself, hopefully. Right. Um, or maybe not, I don't know. If the mouse cursor doesn't appear in the set, then it's a problem. Okay, it's just it's designed. Okay, it's at least booty. It ignored me though. Hopefully, it's going into something that's actually bootable on this. You know, I have problems with like my Power Mac G5 of it going into something it can't boot into. So, I don't know what it's been into exactly, but it's been into something which is what I want. Might be Mavericks actually. If so, I'm going to need to point the camera down because sensitivity of information. I'll see you in a bit, I guess, once it 
boots into something. Okay, it's been in the version Mac OS. I'm going to assume this is Maverick's um, pointing camera down. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Maverick's. As long as it's gone off worryingly. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming it's trying to boot into Maverick's. Because of the SSD has Mavericks on it, I believe. But there's nothing going on. The monitor went off. Um, problem. Okay, now it's trying to boot into Sonoma because I've inserted my install USB and that was like the last thing that's on there so yeah just wait for this yeah i like i pat um i did target um the um usb to use open core for the five comma one so yeah it's doing its thing slowly that is worrying it's not detecting keyboard and mouse at all to be fair not powered on which is a uh, worrying that is worrying it's not detecting keyboard and mouse at all to be fair not powered on which is a uh, worrying Oh, Namibia is affected by the USB 1.1, isn't it? So if I just take out the USB hub here and plug it in, and well, and plug in keyboard and mouse, the error should go away. Okay, here we go. Um, it's not responding, which isn't the greatest thing, but at least it's working because that's quite what I want at the very least and agree problem is um, the USB hubs like on the floor um, I can't need to go into disk utility it seems yeah so I checked on here um, on disk utility the hard drive is once again one terabyte as labeled um, so let's just quit install Mac OS Quit. Um, going to disk utility. Um, internal. Um, install. Um, so it's not letting me partition. So I guess it just wants me to do this. Or do I see if I can get the SSD in and try and get that up and running? I'm just going to do it on the hard drive for now. I can always copy it over it's quite, quite easily. Um, I thought I did APS first. I'd get, oh, it's probably because it's like a hard drive. It's like, no. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I'll see what I can do. Okay, so we're in the setup for um, Sonoma. I will sort out the screen in a sec. Um, it's fine, I'll go with the rest. Um, but now... Okay, yeah, Wi-Fi is a thing. That's good to know. Um, yeah, so I'll do Wi-Fi password. Well, it still suggests the Ethernet flow not plugged in. Guess it's bridged to cheap pound line cable coming loose. Not a problem with the actual port on this computer. Ports. Well, I've not tried the other port. Okay, so now let's look at the specs of this. Looks like there's some weird graphical error issues. Oh. It's got 
an extra two gigs of RAM. It's supposed to be eight gig. Instead, it's ten gigs. Ooh, interesting. Um, by the way, I've connected my Magic Mouse and wireless keyboard aluminium, whatever you call it. So yeah. Also, from my understanding, there was never a two um dual CPU, two point four gigahertz Xeon option. So it's just um what's the word I've gone blank. So this must have been had a different CPU at one no, actually no, it can't be. I think it's just Wikipedia being wrong. Ignore me. Yeah, so there's no um yeah, graphical I don't know if it's it shouldn't have like um transparency and the wallpaper disabled by default because it wasn't like that on my um Mac um iMac. It wasn't like that, so that's a bit worrying but oh well i'm going to install some apps and see how it goes i will now um unplug the usb and get it set up so it boots um open cores als aclp bootloader so let me press the power on button and hold option once it's chimed, which might take a while. Um, yeah, hopefully this works. Uh, working. Working question mark Come on I think yes, okay, it ignored me, but it did go into um open core bootloader, so I can't really complain for now at least so yeah. What's that? Just wait for it to boot, I guess. Um, okay, so I've um rebooted and um yeah I'm now seem to got like proper graphics acceleration um setting, it's all nice and smooth. You know, typing in the um URL bar on display isn't lagging anymore. Um so yeah. Um 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 just wait for it it does feel mm, oh, i guess it doesn't feel that cursed seeing modern mac os on this monitor but what to you say i've not actually really seen modern mac os on like older displays that aren't you know like that like built in displays for you know the iMacs and the MacBooks, but yeah, little 2005 monitor right here doing the hard work. So, I'll probably try and do some like mind bar, um, probably some other stuff, but yeah, yeah, I want to open it. Yeah, so let's get everything up and running and see how this works. Okay, so on default settings, um, on you know macOS and Noma, um, and you know stock GPU, uh, I'm getting. Well, I say default. I've I think the only only thing I've changed is um, FOV and that doesn't really count. But yeah. Um, I'm getting sort of around a hundred FPS. Um, oh, I'm getting annoyed. I keep on doing. I keep on forgetting that the FN key is actually right in the corner instead of. Um, yeah, so that's annoying. Um, but yeah, point is, it's getting. 
point no. Euh, see if I can change that to seconds, but yeah. It's getting over 100 FPS, I'd say. Sort of about 170 to about 200 plus. Roughly. To be fair, this is only 12 by 1024. But still, quite a lot of frames. Yeah, okay, so the GPU's from 2009. Okay. Not bad, considering, yeah, I mean, it's... What was the um, CPU um, on this? E5620. Yeah, okay, so the GPU's from 2009. Okay. Not bad, considering, yeah, I mean, it's, what was the, um, CPU, um, on this, E5620? Okay, so, I've done some 4K video testing on YouTube, and it looks like you can actually play it without really dropping any frames, apparently it's dropped it since what I enabled it which to be fair wasn't the whole 1 million 16 um, there are graphical issues um, on YouTube especially um, like that profile picture um, should be you know like that and there's the icons do flash about sometimes as well um, and disappear and whatever so it's not perfect but it does work. Also, I'm not able to sign in because I'm um, screwed Google for now at least, which is uh, not good. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm a bit further back. What I've done is ejected the main hard, well, unplugged the main hard drive. I've put in another hard drive in bay three. Um, it's a one terabyte drive I already had. Um, seeing our news, um, and the idea is, um, I should probably comply the photo I've, um, I was, um, trying to, um, install Snow Leopard on that iMac, um, didn't really go to plan, so I'm sort of abandoning that plan for now at least. Um, so I'm just waiting, so I've now unplugged the thing, so what you should do is put it into the optical drive, the optical drive was unplugged, that probably was a thing I did, not a big deal, um, because you know, I did take out the tray, um, the optical drive bay tray and put in the macOS installer hard drive, so hopefully this will just boot into Windows, um, XP, so I've got, um, yeah, I want to try and install Windows XP, I'm not sure if I said that, so I've got a Windows um, XP um, disk, so um, custom one that's like got fair support for modern hardware, and yes, it is booting, so I've got wired keyboard and mouse because, you know, it won't work with the Bluetooth initially, at the very least. Um, I don't know if this will crash or not, also I could go and see out there, but um, probably not worth my time for now. So I'll see if I can get through the installation sequence, and if not I'll tell you, if you do, you'll see me on Windows, the desktop essentially, that's the idea. Okay, so I'm a bit further back. What I've done is ejected the main hard, well, unplugged the main hard drive. I've put in another hard drive in bay 3. Um, it's a one terabyte drive I already had. Um, seeing our news. Um, and the idea is, um, I should probably comply the photo I've, um, I was, um, trying to um, 
install Snow Leopard on that iMac. Um, didn't really go to plan, so I'm sort of abandoning that plan for now at least. Um, so I'm just waiting. So I've now unplugged things, so what you should do is put into the optical drive. The optical drive was unplugged, that probably was a thing I did. Not a big deal, um, because you know, I did take out the tray. Um, the optical drive that is the tray and put in the macOS installer hard drive. So, hopefully this will just boot into Windows um, XP. So I've got, um yeah, I want to try and install Windows XP. I'm not sure if I said that. So, I've got a Windows um, XP um, disk. So, um, custom one that's like got support for modern hardware and yes it is booting so i've got wired keyboard and mouse because yeah it won't work with the bluetooth initially at the very least um i don't know if this will crash or not also i could go and see out there but um probably not worth my time for now so i'll see if i can get through the installation sequence and if not i'll tell you if do you'll see me on Windows the desktop essentially? That's the idea. Okay, so it took quite a while to get into the installer, and now it's complaining about not finding any hard drives, hard disk drives. Hmm, that's a bit problematic. Maybe, idea put the hard drive underneath the optical drive because i believe the ports those ports actually like i think they support sas i might be wrong but um yeah i'm i'm and maybe that's causing it this so i'll try that of course i'll take out the actual hard drive which is this one also it might have not actually been in properly i'm not sure exactly but yeah I'll try and sort it out. Okay, good news. I've got hard drive reading. Um, yes. Um, um, it turns out it just wasn't plugged in properly. Because um, I did watch a video about this. But I thought it, they did look perfectly fine. But um, I was told that these cages don't work with newer hard drives the alignment of like the SATA ports are different um, and that must have been what's going on because that hard drive's now been detected. Bad news! I found out that the lower SATA for the optical drive, the um, bit of plastic for the macOS installer drive um, here is stuck inside. I have tried to get it out with tweezers screwdrivers and stuff but all i've done is basically made it worse and barely got it out. barely like literally only moved it by like two millimeters further out so yeah um escape was complaining about could not copy file so yeah problem the next problem is um well the hard drive um not supported so if i were to move it vertically up or maybe even hit this the hard drive would just pop out um idea maybe move it there for security like because it won't properly fall down because there's a fan there but uh, it still looks like there's a bit of extra space below so that could be problematic but it is actually doing stuff and at the very least i will have gpu drivers okay gpu drivers perfectly fine um because this is you know like, no, i mean it should have gpu drivers i mean it's from 2009 so windows xp was still just about relevant i mean windows 7 was released in 2009 um but um 
yeah, hopefully that should be fine. Um, if not, I'll probably try and find some other workaround. But yeah, in other words, I cannot have a second optical drive right now because of this, yeah, from Sarah bit being screwed. So that is a bit of a problem. Not a big deal. I mean, I've only had one optical drive for a while, but yeah, I have had dual optical drives before, and it would, yeah, definitely be nice if I had dual optical drives. Um, I. Or my idea for a workaround is um looks like those two SATA things are for up there, okay? So what I do is unplug those SATAs, grab my own SATA cables, bring them up there, okay? Um if there's would be power. Or alternatively I could use the mini six pin that's unused on the motherboard it's by the gpu you see that cable that the gpu plugs into there's an additional cable to the left as well um yeah that's an idea or maybe you could get like sata power extenders because you know the powers in both of those satas are perfectly fine um it's just the um data for the lower one that's screwed up um so that's another idea i'm seeming the cable one of those two cables there provides power to the optical drive bay satas but i don't know exactly okay so i was going to say all oh, the install start blah 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 because it was stuck at 42 percent with um cerium dot six but um it's now changed to serial dot six so technically it's done something but that doesn't change the fact that i do have an idea let's explain the idea so the idea is this ssd which was actually in the thing in my thinkpad i'm gonna be putting it inside here and installing linux on it whoa who would guess um but first i need to make an installer usb so let's do that first okay so it's been stuck at setup dot exe for a while i'm gonna give up on this on that for now and i'm gonna move on to linux um so i've got the usb in um take out the hard drive Probably not bootable, or well, it's going to give you an error. Because that seemed to be what happened earlier. Um, yeah, giving me an error. By the way, this SSD is actually really heavy. I can't really do this one-handed, but yeah, the SSD is quite heavy. Yeah, I'll do this two-handed off camera and boot it up and hope it works. Okay, so it's been stuck at setup dot exe for a while. I'm gonna give up on this on that for now and I'm gonna move on to Linux. Um so I've got the USB in. Um take out the hard drive. Probably not bootable. Or, well, it's going to give you an error. Because that seemed to be what happened earlier. Um, yeah, giving me an error. By the way, this SSD is actually really heavy. I can't really do this one-handed. But yeah, the SSD is quite heavy. Yeah, I'll do this two-handed off camera. And boot up and hope it works. Okay, so I'm installing Endeavor OS. I will move back to the chair once I get this up and running, hopefully. So, yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, so apparently it's all done. So, what I'm going to do is restart now. By the way, I've connected up like my magic mouse. Not the, mag um, the keyboard, but it kept on failing. So, yeah. 
plans to reboot and um, unplug the USB in the set and here we go okay so I've done some stuff um first off off my phone you know the bit came with plasma I also ha had my wallpaper because you know I had my whole home folder um preserved and stuff which is quite cool um Oh, Bluetooth doesn't work there. Um, okay, it's been into the Zen kernel tool. Um, so, um, Bluetooth should be set up. Although the mouse pointer is not working. Oh, now it is. Okay, cool. Keyboard's not connected. Oh no, it is. Yeah, I am using Wayland, um, which works on this um, fourteen-year-old um, GPU, which is quite cool. It didn't initially work, but after I, I did the system update, it did magically work. Oh, go away. Off. Yeah, so there's my wallpaper from the ThinkPad. Okay. So I've installed some tough games. Um, also, I see does my droid actually work? I know it sounds ridiculous. Yeah, the mouse cursor is a bit wobbly, let's just say. Um, so, I do not have a smart record. Return. Okay, yeah, it does. Um, it's not a big deal. Um, but, um, see how, if this works. Okay, a bit of a problem. Um, I've got Wadroid up and running, as you see. However, it's not getting an internet connection for some weird reason. Um, Is that double internet? Which is something at the very least. Um, yeah. Um, looks like I can't get um emulation to function properly. I think, I don't know, maybe like missing CPU instruction sets or something. So, yeah. Wake Droid can't be useful. Okay, um, is um, Minecraft running? 1.3 point four running on here. I'm going to go to a slightly more busy area. This is with um, game mode enabled, by the way. It seems to be actually significantly improving performance. Like I was doing like still struggling to get like hundred, but here I'm actually easily getting over two hundred. No, it's not more like two hundred, three hundred. And the frame times I think are quite decent. So there's that. Don't forget this is a 14 year old computer <laughs> and it absolutely destroys Minecraft. Of course, you know, this is like 
focus on the optimize, which is you know not an optimized mod pack, but let's be real, no one, unless you're stupid, actually plays vanilla Minecraft, you know, without like any optimization mods. So, yeah, absolutely destroys. That's what this does. Okay, so since um. What's it called? Um, I couldn't really get um, arm emulation working. How about I um, try Roblox on Mac OS Sonoma? So, yeah, I'll try and see how it runs on here. Probably quite well. Don't, although it's probably going to once again be limited by the GPU. By the way, I. I don't know why the optical drive's making a horrible noise, or is that the hard drive up here? Either way, it's a horrible noise, but let's try and ignore it for now, okay? And I'll get to it. Okay, so I've just been playing about with Ultimate Drive in on Roblox. Um, so with maximum settings, in the less urban areas, I can um, get... Um, sort of, you know, hit the cap of 60, I can't be bothered to get the un the FPS uncapper by the way. Um, yeah, so, and then in more um, urban areas in like main Westover, it's more like 30. Um, also, for some reason, the boot key isn't working, which is arse. I don't know if that's the keyboard or just the game. Um, also, for some weird reason, keyboard mouse isn't connecting, so Linux is doing better than Mac OS. Whoa. But yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing is partitioning the main drive to um, the partition, so I can have you know, a partition for a new Mac OS. So I'm getting like 70 gigs for each version, which is quite a bit. Especially for some certain ones that I couldn't care about. Cough, cough, lion, yes, semiti, um, sierra, so on. Things like Big Sur, um, Monterey, um, Wissar, Brad, Ventura, things like that. Yeah. I'm also getting another one here about hard drive from the seller because, you know, there's missing one for 22 terabytes. So I will probably end up doing something else with the other hard drive. I, I might put some macOS partitions on there. I, I don't know. But yeah. So that's something to wait for as well, I guess. So yeah, I'll see you in, in a bit. Hopefully. Okay, so I've still um, the two sticks of RAM in my server over there just to see. Can it operate? I believe it's 1600 megahertz RAM, so it there's potential it might not work. But as far as I know, these lower end CPUs that can do 33 can also uh, uh, that only do 1066 can also do uh, 33, but it operates at 1066. So maybe that happened. I die. No display, no chime, I guess the answer is no, the RAM doesn't work. I'm not surprised, let's be real, that was, just, that was a bit of a stretch. Experiment, you know what I mean. So, yeah, nothing. Oh well, no big deal. The power light's also blinking, presumably like on... Elfo saying there's something wrong with the RAM. So, yeah. So, yeah, RAM, no. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. Not much particularly interesting to me has happened. I guess the most major thing is I ended up breaking the SATA data port there. And um, basically, it got stuck in the lower optical drive. A slot, so um, 
I thought I was quite smooth. I had, you know, I used this spoon. Actually, I might have said this on camera. Um, but, um, yeah. But, um, yeah, I've been using it. It works quite well. And I now have a different chance. So let's show what's going on. So, number one, I've lost my USB stick. Um, so, what I'm doing is using my 160 gig hard drive from 2004 so it's 19 years old this is from December um, as a Ventoy drive and I'm reinstalling dead virus now I'm not putting it on the SSD I'll probably put something else on this SSD maybe Mac OS 9 or something but what I'm planning on doing so I've got a 480 gig SSD in the low octopus drive Similar thing happened to that with this where the SATA thing's broken, but I've got around it. It works now. Um, and I need to connect my mouse at the very least so I can actually move stuff around. Um, and then, yeah, also my um, keyboard's been playing up my wireless one, so I've had to use this, which isn't ideal. Keeps it stuck down and stuff. But yeah, so there's 408 gig SSD and plan to install now. I've um, moved the home directory because this had like a mono partition install, so I had to get all the files from the home directory. I put it on one of the hard drives, I think it's down there, I think it might be that one. Um, yeah, so I've done that. Um, this, you know, isn't mono. Um, partition so I'm fine with that and I'll probably give myself a bigger home directory I won't do half and half I'll probably do more or less like I don't know 100 gigs root and then all the rest um the like 360 home that's the idea because Steam games go into the home directory so um you know Steam games are quite big so yeah that's the plan I'll see you in a bit where hopefully I've got into food. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. Not much particularly interesting things has happened. I guess the most major thing is I ended up breaking the SATA data port there. And um, basically it got stuck in the lower optical drive bay slot. So... Um, I thought I was quite smooth. I had, you know, I used this spoon. Actually, I might have said this on camera. Um, but, um, yeah. But, um, yeah, I've been using it. It works quite well. And I now have a different chance. So let's show what's going on. So, number one, I've lost my USB stick. Um, so, what I'm doing is using my 160 gig hard drive from 2004 so it's 19 years old this is from December um, as a Ventoy drive and I'm reinstalling dead virus now I'm not putting it on the SSD I'll probably put something else on this SSD maybe Mac OS 9 or something but what I'm planning on doing so I've got a 480 gig SSD in the low optical drive. Similar thing happened to that with this where the SATA thing's broken, but I've got around it. It works now. Um, and I need to connect my mouse at the very least so I can actually move stuff around. Um, and then, yeah, also my um, keyboard's been playing up my wireless one so I've had to use this which isn't ideal keeps it stuck down and stuff but yeah so there's 408 gig SSD and plan to install now I've um, moved the home directory because this had like a mono partition install so I had to get all the files from the home directory I put it on one of the hard drives I think it's down there I think it might be that one um yeah so I've done that um, this, you know, 
isn't mono um, partition so I'm fine with that and I'll probably give myself a bigger home directory I won't do half and half I'll probably do more or less like I don't know 100 gigs root and then all the rest um, the like 360 home that's the idea because Steam games go into the home directory so and you know Steam games are quite big so yeah that's the plan I'll, I'll see you in a bit where hopefully I've got into 